What is up guys, so today I am reviewing episode 1, 2, 3, and 4 of Agatha for All Along. I will review episode 6, 7, 8, and 9 in separate videos, in a separate video. So, without wasting any time, I'm going to get started with reviewing episode 1, and then I'll review the other, other episodes later in the video. Sorry about my hands, I ate some Cheeto Puffs, the hot kind, so... So, and I won't be I won't be telling my feelings because obviously I already know what happened between these episodes because I've already watched them. I'm just now deciding that we now I'm deciding to record and review these episodes now. So yeah. So I'll start off with the pros for for the episode one of Ag for How Long. The crime intro was really cool, and I thought it added a neat. And I thought it really added to the show in a neat way, for episode one at least. And going off of that, I did. I really like the crime setting in episode one. I thought they did it very well, and I like how Ag Agatha was like her acting or Catherine's acting was getting kind of worse, but it made sense. For what for the old parodying in episode one, so I thought that was a nice touch. Teen's character, I thought I, I I thought he was pretty funny in this episode. I thought like, it was a nice in introduction to his character. The chemistry between Catherine and uh, Avery, Ava, I was really good. I, you know they were, didn't have much scenes in this episode, but I really thought the scenes they had. They really had good chemistry, and they really bounced off each other really well. The yeah, overall, yeah, it's really good chemistry, yeah. And then my other pro is the towards the end of the towards the end of the towards the end of the episode, and she's taking off all of her clothes because she sees her Wanda's name on a dead body, and then she sees her name pop up saying Agatha and then she starts taking off her clothes and I and I like how they did it because it was the clothes she wore in all the episodes of WandaVision I thought that was a cool a call back to WandaVision and how they shot it just was really cool we need we, we well done if that makes sense Agatha acting like a cop it was really funny uh yeah I know and honestly I could definitely like see Agatha being a cop and like in a different life yeah I don't know yeah and then another thing I really loved the beginning sequence to this because it really gave off like a grim crime show so the Atos meal was really cool and it gave me like cool vibes, it kind of gave me witchy vibes with them being in the woods and all that, and and then Wanda's body being covered up because they won't show her face, and them not saying her name and acting like and acting like her body is just a random person that got murdered in Agatha's, fan, in Agatha's fantasy, fantasy, and she has to figure out who murdered her, yeah. And yeah, I just thought that Sinclair was really cool and really well done and really well shot and directed. The next, the next thing is I just love how the how the time people brought back and how the dealing with dealing with Ag Agatha's playing as a cop because he's close by Wanda, and them not just being tortured and being stuck in this sitcom because of that. Uh, the cinematography and the directing in this episode we really, was really well done, especially the first one. Had really cool shots. Um, yeah. So that's it for my pros. Now for my cons, it's only two, which tells you, yeah, about the show. So the fight between Agatha and Royal, after she wakes up from taking off all her clothes, and she gets back to 
she gets back from talking to Olb, and she's in her wool, wool, and wool, uh, wool. Uh, comes in, showing the door, and they fight. I thought it looked kind of sloppy and not really well shot, in my opinion. And then for the second con, even though I liked the the cop thing, it was cool and blah blah blah. But I don't like how they use the same formula, because at a certain point I was just ready. I was. Just what you like, okay, this is cool. I like this. It has some really cool shots. It, uh, I like the vibe of it, but I'm ready just to get on with the actual show. If that makes sense, that yeah. So that's it in my episode one review. I'll give episode one a solid, <coughs> a solid seven out of ten. Not a bad start for a, for a Marvel show that everybody was hating for those even. Next up, I got the F episode 2 review. So, I'm going to start off the polls, of course. So, the first poll is the Coven scene. They was beautiful to that. Their voices to that made me want to bust. And the song lyrics were really cool, too. And just that whole scene. And while they were singing, the witches trying to get in and actually looking really scary. That's another thing. I really like the design of the witches. It actually got me scared instead of them looking weird and just ridiculous and not scary at all. And another thing, I really like the look of the world. I, th I thought I, I think it looks really cool. And yeah, I don't know. And another poll, sorry that I cut off. And another poll, I like how they introduced the coven. I thought that that was really. Cool. <coughs> I just thought. <coughs> I thought that was really cool how they in introduced the coven, introduced all the characters in this, and and then when they met Alice, and when Agatha pretended to be the mom and pretended to be Teen's mother, I thought that was a really com really good comedy funny moment in the episode. Um. Yeah, and then my cons, which is only one, and it's not really a full con, is the mean comments on Wanda's grave, which I know why those mean comments. She, in a way, deserves the comments, but it just hurts seeing those comments after her death. Well, after her death, you know, it just, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts my soul, being a Wanda Vision fan. So yeah, that's it for my episode two review. Pretty short review, but there's not really much to say about about that episode. If that makes sense. So I give that episode another like seven out of ten. So now it's time for my episode three review. So of course I'm gonna start off the, with the pose. Okay, so I think the costumes look great. Look great on everybody. And it really gave me the vibes of a rich white mom's millionaire's house, if that makes sense. Like the outfits and the and the and the house stuff like that. And going off that, that the set was really nice. I think the house was beautiful, and the kitchen was to die for. Uh, and then another plot, the secrets where everybody has illusions after, after drinking their wine and stuff. I thought that was really well done. Like, all, like, all of it was really scary and like that. Probably the scariest one to me was the one with, oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, Leela, not, Leela is was probably the scariest out of the whole illusions. Um, and then this is kind of a half bow, half con. Even though it sucks that Sharon died, it makes sense. Like realistically, she wouldn't. It wouldn't make sense for her to survive more than one tr trial in this witch's world. 
So that kind of adds like moralistic value to the show, and it makes the show more kind of serious. And yeah, if that makes sense. Uh, and then I pull everybody's chemistry together was really good, and I I'm really liking teens and Agatha relationship going even though we are no way it ends. And I'll talk about that in episode episode six review. And for the cons, is dumb for getting Mrs. Shannon's hair to put in the potion. Dumb for getting her in general, and giving her the potion way too late, basically causing her death. Even though it probably wouldn't matter anyways, because she drink she drink two glasses of wine. So matter so no matter what, Mrs. Sharon was screwed. Like so. And then that's we really the that's we really the only cons I could think of for this review, and the only pros I could think of. Overall, I would give this episode like a seven point five. Really good episode. Really enjoyed it. Just did not enjoy Miss Sharon dying. Did not enjoy that at all. Only review episode four. So let's start. <coughs> Start off with the pros, of course. The scenes with Agatha and Teen were really good. Like I really love the scenes to that. They really feel like mother and son, even though we all know that that's not the case. But either way, I do really like the chemistry to that. Yeah. Again, the set is the set is cool. I like how it looked. I like the 80s kind of vibe and I, I like how it looked and I like that it was basically a recording studio yeah and I'm going off of that everybody's outfits were really good besides one character well, I'm gonna get into that like yeah everybody's outfits was just especially uh, Catherine's Outfit. Oh my gosh, she looked bad. She looked bad in that. Singing around that fire. The new remakes. So my another pro is the new remake of the cut. Uh, so another pro of mine is the new version of the Witcher song. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Chef's Kiss. This amazing. Um, and also dumb singing to destroy this demon. I thought that I thought that was a cool touch, and it made sense for and it made sense for Alice's character because because of because because of her course. That ones in the family and the course that they break in this show. I mean, in this episode. So, going off of that, uh, the I really thought it was a really good story. Very good story, and it really felt empowering for Alice and her struggles for, for, her, for out her life, dealing with this course, and then finally breaking it with the song that her mother made and breaking the course forever so her family for her future family doesn't have to deal with it and for her family to finally be at peace I thought that was really cool and another pull is that the acting team Catherine Hahn and Aubrey Plaza when Agatha says don't to uh way way I mean, whoa, basically saying, don't take another, don't take, don't take him again, because she thought that it was his son. I basically I'm saying the acting in that scene was just chef's kiss. Um, another poll I really it gives more insight with Agatha's and ways and way relationship. And stuff like that. And another part I have 
is them bonding and talking about those scars by the fireplace. I thought that was a really touching, great scene and beautifully acted by everybody. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, and ping, uh, picking off the scenes with Agatha and Teen, my favorite scene between them in this episode is when after Billy gets healed from the stab from him falling into the glass win- from the glass window and getting a shard of glass stuck in his thigh and then uh, Jennifer saving Teen and then and then the scene after that is when Agatha and Teen talk And then when it, and then when she says, "You're still alive, great." And then they start talking after that. I thought that scene was really cool, and it really bonded the relationship even more, even though it is in disaster by episode six. And I'll get into that in episode six with you. Uh, the only con I really have for this episode, I didn't like Teen Tail. In his costume. I thought it looked weird and not very good, in my opinion. But, yeah, that's really the only cons I could think of. Maybe comment down below your favorite episode so far. Uh, comment down below your favorite things about about episodes 1 through 4. And your least favorite things about episode, episodes 1 through 4. I hope you all enjoyed my review. Uh, comment down below what other shows you want me to review yeah